Hey, my Lupac loves. Okay, so I did tell you guys that once I reach a thousand subscriptions or subs, you know that YouTube talk, I will give you guys another reaction video. Okay, so I'm going to be speaking on the gorgeous Danea Jackson because in my opinion, she's a very beautiful girl. And you could tell with or without makeup, she's beautiful regardless of what people say now i remember a few years ago when they came out with the whole bonnet video and you know people was judging her and mocking her calling her crazy based off of that video which in my opinion no one should ever be judged based on what they wear because you know we all we all all of us have off days off and on days where listen we might go to the store with a scarf on you never know pajamas it just depends on how we feeling especially when you have kids because listen them, them cheering could drive would drive you crazy like if you a mother you know what i'm talking about so and speaking of kids like it's so hard for me to do these doggone videos because i have three and then when I tell you, not just three kids, I have dogs also. So that's kids. That's my babies too. But I have so much noise in the background. I had to literally lock myself in the room so I could try to get through this video. But I wrote down my key points so the noise don't distract me and I could get through it without forgetting what I want to say and fussing at these cheering, baby. So I, I want to touch on, let's see. One of the major things that she spoke on, which was going into a relationship without pro properly healing from traumatic experiences or things that may affect you, affect you mentally and emotionally. Because I remember her saying she was awed. I don't want to say the actual word, but y'all adults, so y'all can figure it out. Her saying she was awed and she went into a relationship with her ex, you know, and that's a very traumatic experience, something to go through and not be fully healed from. Especially when you bottle it up and you thinking you putting it away, but it's actually clouding your judgment with every decision that you make mentally. You know what I'm saying? Like you might think you, you didn't bottled it up and put it away forever, but in the back of your mind it's going to always affect your judgment in any traumatic experience. So, uh, one of the major key factors of being healed is when you can speak on and acknowledge when someone has done you wrong, but also take accountability for your actions, which may contribute to what you allow and, and accept. So there is even a point in her interview where she spoke on studying and knowing the body, the bodies of her husband's mistresses than her own body and also watching their SEX videos and mimicking those moves during her sex experiences with her husband listen baby that oh my god y'all that was so deep to me like i almost shed a tear because and not out of judgment or or to shame her because i ain't gonna say we all been there but we've all done some crazy things when it comes to love and loyalty especially when you mean it you know what i'm saying especially first love experiences Ooh, child, listen, that, that was heart-wrenching, y'all. So when she, when she spoke on that, that, that was really heart-wrenching because it made me think back to her and her speaking on her daddy issues and the abandonment. And <sighs> to me, that right there stems from insecurity, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, daddy issues, and so on. And honestly, I know a lot of young, young and immature women would probably listen to her interview and, you know, try to shame or belittle her for what she said. But you'll be surprised how many women actually, I ain't going to say experience that in a sense, but, you know, been through similar situations when thinking they in love. It's basically when you stuck in a certain mental capacity, you know, based on how you was raised or brought up, you never know what type of things you'll do. You know, especially out of loyalty or trying to prove your loyalty to a certain man. I'm at, you know what? I'm actually proud of her because if you ever been to therapy, then you would know that talking about something like that, especially when you're embarrassed, is a part of healing. You know, situations that make you uncomfortable when you can speak on it, especially, especially in front of a crowd, is major in your healing process. 
I don't know how many people, you know, I don't know how many of y'all have actually been to therapy, but that's a major thing. And I also noticed that while she did, while she did this interview, you could tell that from her posture and her spirit and her energy that she actually did the work before the interview, you know, even for her to be comfortable to sit down and talk during the interview, you could tell that she actually been to therapy and she was working on herself and you have to, cause when you go through traumatic experiences like that, especially when you have kids that can really break you a situation like that can really, really break you. And that's, you know, some somewhat of her first, you could say her first love because she did say she had a relationship before, but it was puppy love. And, you know, puppy love is is different. You can forget about puppy love the next week, baby. But she was even, you know, she was even able to laugh in certain, at certain things during the interview that most people would have probably been, you know, enraged, especially if you unhealed, oh baby, certain, certain triggers will really, really take you through it. You know, also despite the public, uh, humility that her husband has caused her she showed that she could speak on his infidelities and what transpired throughout their relationship timeline with class and respect not just for him or herself but because they still have children to co-parent you know that's another major key point because if we look at certain situations that's going on in the media now I'm not going to even say it because I don't want to bring this situation into what I'm reacting to now but most of y'all know the situation I'm talking about, but when you have kids, like you got to move a certain way, you know, that's why it's, it's major to go through a proper healing It's major to go through therapy before you expose or speak on your situation, because you could be talking bad about that person, but making yourself look even worse. If you ain't healed properly, baby, listen, you thinking you you dog, dogging that person and making that person look bad, but you making yourself look bad also because y'all still a unit. Y'all still connected. Y'all still have kids. So, and not just that, those those kids are going to see that one day. They're going to see the interviews. They're going to see the media. They're going to see, you know, y'all talking, y'all going against each other, y'all fussing, the backlash, the back and forth. Those kids going to see that, you know, they will see it. And Imagine how it's going to make them feel, how they going to be judged, how they going to be talked about, how they going to be clowned in front of their peers. So you got to be mindful of the things that you put on the media. And I know this is a little off topic, but it's the real, like for, for anybody that's going through something in the public eye, like just be mindful, especially when you have kids involved and you know, as women, okay, let me get back on topic y'all. Because my mind, listen, I got a lot going on in this brain. (laughs) Okay, so back to topic. As women, we tend to settle in our early years in relationships based on what we see growing up between our mother and father or the lack thereof. Y'all know how those situations go. A lot of times we'll use a man to fill a certain void based on the lack of relationship that we have with our father. I know plenty of females that have been through that. You know what I'm saying? Like you, your father is not there. Even when the father is in the home, it could be some, it could be a toxic situation between your mom and your dad where it's abuse involved. It's abuse involved when it comes to you, verbal and physical, mental, like all that plays a part, especially when you you're old enough to to get into a relationship and then you thinking those type of things are okay like it's not cool that's why i always say we're a product of our environment and kids have to be raised into adults because it's true like you know even though you could be in a situation where you was raised a certain way you was raised the right way and you were straight but eventually you'll go back to what you learn. You know, you might stray or make a few mistakes, but eventually you'll go back to what, what's right and what you actually learn. For example, we could grow up being abused mentally, verbally, verbally and physically and allow slash settle for it in our relationships because we think it's okay. These are the behaviors and mindsets that we have to unlearn 
and heal from, especially to break generational curses with our daughters and so on. Like you don't want to bring that into your parents. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, I, and I don't want to use my family as an example. Eventually I'll get into that and I'll tell y'all more about myself and how I was brought up or whatever. But a lot of times parents will, you know, raise kids a certain way because based off of how they were raised. And we see that a lot, like in this generation, you know what I'm saying? Well, in the older generation, because that's all they know. So they can only, if they wasn't raised in love, how can they raise you in love? But now a lot of those generational curses are being broken. I see it. I see it a lot being broken now, even in my situation, like my kids will never have to go through what I went through because I want better for them, period. And they going to get better. They see, they see better anyways, overall. So overall, I think that, I think that this was a very powerful interview, y'all. And I'm glad to see she spoke her truth and, and in her own timing and, and on a Christian based platform. Like that was major to me, but listen, y'all, I know y'all know I'm a talker. <laughs> we all know I'm a talker, but I want to try and keep my videos short. And once I start going live on my platform, then I'll make them a little longer time wise. But God spare, I would like to do a live soon where we can focus on healing toxic relationships um, and unlearning certain behaviors. But thank y'all for listening. Love you guys. Bye.